So, part two video. We were on the page where it was showing what it would look like if it was really a bunny or a duck. You know, maybe you were right. Maybe it was a rabbit. <gasps> Thing is, now I'm actually thinking it was a duck. Look at those feathers in that bill. Well, anyway, now what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hey, look, an anteater. <gasps> That's no anteater, that's a Brachiosaurus. Oh my goodness. The end. So take a second to think, think, think like Winnie the Pooh. Do you think that it was a duck? Quack, quack, quack. Or a bunny? <gasps> Here's the poem on your little art project. It says, my little yellow duck is really very funny. For when I turn him over, he becomes a little bunny. So here's what you're gonna do on this project. You'll need glue, scissors, your cotton balls, and your yellow paper. On this side, we're gonna make it look like a bunny, and this is, or a duck, and this is how we're gonna do it. You can take this yellow paper and you can cut it into pieces if you want, and glue it down on this side, but don't cover up the poem. Or one of my favorite things to do with paper is rip it. Do you like to rip paper? You can rip a little bit of paper and you can put a little glue on it and glue it here, but don't cover up the poem. The more and more me, we rip and glue, so let me do another nice chunk. The more and more this side is gonna turn into a yellow little kind of like our Eagle Rip and Tear project that we did a few weeks ago. And so soon you'll have this whole side covered with yellow and it's gonna be a little duck quack quack. There's the bill and there's the eye. But then what you get to do is super fun. You get to flip it over and now it's gonna be a bunny. Hippity hop. And you're gonna take your cotton balls and I like to stretch them out. Stretch, 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 rip, rip, rip. Put a little glue on your paper. And then you can push it down on top of the glue. And it starts to look fuzzy. Ooh, I wanna put some more here. I want a nice fuzzy bunny so that it looks like I can pet it and love it and squish it. Here we go. Sometimes it sticks to your fingers, but that's okay. That's what soap and water is for. I know you're getting lots of practice washing your hands right now. And it gets fuzzier and fuzzier. So then you can pick, is it a duck? Or is it a bunny? Hippity hop. I hope that you liked this project. I know I sure did. Have a wonderful day, kindergartners.